Hello and welcome back to Queen Substance Tarot. We have another unboxing for you today. This time we'll be reviewing the Gypsy Witch fortune telling cards with instructions of course. Um, there isn't much else to say about these cards other than they're printed by US Game Systems Inc. And since that's it, let's get into them. We have an extra joker. So I'm not entirely sure about the setup of these cards, but again, extra joker. Okay, looks like they're smaller than regular playing cards. They fit really snug into my palm. And the, here's the booklet. The cards themselves, another extra joker. <laughs> they're sturdy, they don't have a lot of um, flex to them, but it seems like they'll be good for shuffling. So it seems like we've got like the typical playing card set up. Clubs, diamonds. I'm sorry, spades, diamonds, clubs, and hearts. And they all have different sayings on them, or little messages rather. So let's give them a shuffle and then I'll pick one to read. It's such a tiny little deck. Really easy to shuffle. Okay. Let's take a jumper. Oop. We got two. And eight in reverse. Oh. Here we go. Two aces, a four of diamonds, and a king of hearts. We have diamonds and hearts. I like it. Okay. The birds signify dire, mis dire misfortune and fierce enemies when near. If far away from the person with seven... 16, 12, or 22 between a chance to avert the evil spell. It's a little cryptic. The King of Hearts, number 24, hand in hand indicates confiding disposition when in close proximity to 38, 39, 42, or 47. Friendship will warm into love. When near 45, favor will be found with superiors. Near 48, financial success. I don't think it's near any of those numbers. Nope. Oh well. This is the Four of Diamonds, number 27. The dog, if near, represents true friends. If distant, and surrounded by clouds, beware of unsuspected enemies. Interesting. And last, the Ace of Hearts, number 11. The fox in close proximity augurs distrust of acquaintances who are seeking to betray you. 
distant, less danger. Wasn't that wonderful? Okay, so let's take a quick look at the book. Well, this is definitely something I haven't seen before and something I will have to learn. Short and long readings, a diagram. This looks familiar, but again, I've never played with these cards. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere on the web. Okay, well, that was pretty much it for this unboxing and review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we will get to them. I want to thank you for watching and subscribing. See you next time.